how did Jesus respond to this challenge? There's one of him and so many who were flocking to him, needing something, needing healing, needing direction. Like he said, they were like sheep without a shepherd. And Jesus did not fear overwhelmed, said, look, you know, I can do this. I'm going to go back to my carpentry shop. He did not send them away. He called more laborers into the work. He called his disciples, and he empowered them to do the work that he was doing. Now, we can think of curing the sick and, you know, healing lepers, driving out demons as physical things, physical illness. But remember, Jesus is about spiritual life, our spiritual souls. These also have a spiritual significance or significance on a spiritual level. Today, the curing that Jesus calls each one of us to do is to cure people from their physical or spiritual illness. And mostly the spiritual illness that's the most important. To proclaim the kingdom, to give people direction through proclaiming the teachings of Jesus. He's the way, the truth, and the life. Jesus makes sure that that ministry continues throughout the ages or else what happens after he's left then we go back to being sheep without shepherd, wandering around. And Jesus trusts that mission to his church, to those, not just the priests and the bishops, but also to the laity. All of us have received that mission at our baptism. We're called to be a light in the world. We're called to live our faith, to share our faith. That's what proclaiming the kingdom is all about by the way we live our lives and not just only by our words. But all we need someone to shepherd us. And that's why Jesus guarantees that the truth of faith, the truth that we need for our salvation will always be proclaimed by the church. Not because the church is perfect, but just like he did with his disciples, it wasn't their power, their knowledge, their opinions that they went proclaiming but Jesus gave them the power. The gift of the church and being the teaching body of Christ in the world today is that Jesus empowers the church to do this because he cares about us, about the flock, about continuing to find our way and know our way to eternal life. We're all sinners, no one is perfect, but what's perfect and true is the truth of Jesus Christ that he preserves for us through the teaching authority of the church.